cod fishery is also on the go, and uh, we'll have five codfish. So, uh, I don't know if you can see that dark coloration in the rocks in there. This place is called Blue Rocks. So anyway, I'm gonna just uh, give the Norwegian jigger a try here, and uh, you know, my fish here now. Anyway, guys, it's a uh, it's hard to get a good codfish. There's just too many old rock cods around. Another, that's another rock cod. So, no oh good. There's just too many old rock cods that around here, so I'm gonna move it a little further. Whoa, man! Oh man! I kill it with some tick back there. Woo. Beautiful morning. That's what he calls a fish rock right there. Oh guys, some nice fish there. And I'm here by the fish rock here now. So I just never had to jigger down very long, so hopefully I'll get my uh well, we only have three more to go here now. And hopefully I'll get my fish kind of quick here. This is a nice one. Oh yeah. Woo, that's a beauty. Alright guys, I'm going to show how I uh, clean the fish for the stew. Alright, so... First thing you do, you take the gut out. And save the bridge. The bridges. And you take the head off. I used to save the tongs. Take your fins off. The fins off. Like that. And down here by the tail, you put a little slit like that, and you can run your knife up along with the, the fins like that. That's on one side. Side. A little piece here so you can grab hold of. A lot easier when you got a, a cotton glove on too. There, see? And you come to this side, same thing. You put a little slit there. Run your knife up along one side the fins. Another side. 
the PC gear so you can grab hold of. And there you have it. Cut the tail off. All right, so I, uh, I got this fish here now all ready to stew, and uh, when I get back to the line liner, I'm going to show you how I make uh, stewed codfish, and uh, the britches and tongues, I'll save those to fry, and right now I'm going to show you how we cut out the cod's head, and uh, we fry those up, and they're really delicious. First thing I do, people cut them out different ways, but the first thing I do is, is take out the, the gills. This morning, but first thing I do is uh, take out the gills, and uh, then I put my knife to his eyeball down line this way, and like that to his eyeball, same thing on that side, and uh, then you open up, and you want to go from the mouth down across to the eye, and meet in from the other cut, like down across that way, flipping over. Well, you do the opposite way here from through the mouth. That's the top part of the head. Yeah, that's the card head. And uh, not a whole lot of meat on them, but when you fry them, they're really tasty. And we usually just split them in. And so you have half the tongue on each on each side. And uh, so I'll show you that again here now. So what I do, the first thing I do is take out the gills and uh, some people cut them out and leave the gills in there and take the gills off after, but this is just the way I do it. And same thing, I put down trees eyeball, down line that way, and same thing on that side. Through the mouth, down across the eye, flip over, same way. And maybe one of these days I'll show you how I uh, how I cook these, but really you would just, just wash them over. Uh, a little bit of salt, uh, toss them in flour, and fry them in salt pork. And uh, not, like I said, there's not a whole lot of meat on them, but it's very tasty. And uh, so anyway, that's how I cut those out, wash those off. And I'm just gonna sprinkle a bit of salt on uh, these codfish, just the same if I was gonna like I smoke the salmon. And uh, Let's them sit like that now for a few hours. I shake them off, and then I'm gonna put them in freezer bays and freeze them. And that's what we call it, corn codfish, and uh, that's what we use as on boil ups. You take that corn codfish and you tan, and you wrap them in tin foil, and you roast them uh, on a fire root doors with a nice slice of toast spread and a cup of tea. You can't beat it. So, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, until the next one.